Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people. Joe from System Era hosted an Astroneer Roadmap Reveal stream earlier today. Well, the title said it was a roadmap reveal. It was really just a handful of leaks from the coming update instead of looking at the roadmap for the game. But th that doesn't matter. What does matter is the leaks and the release date. So let's jump into all the Joe leak today, and then we'll discuss the release date near the end of this video. Up first was the new hoverboard. When equipped in your backpack, you're able to transition onto and off of the hoverboard to glide around the surface of the planet. I gotta admit, this thing looks like it could be a lot of fun, but we will need to take care as you can suffer fall damage while riding the hoverboard. It also looked as if you can continue to use the hoverboard even if you run out of power, but it'll move a lot slower. You can use your terrain tool and even carry objects while riding, and you can even get a bit of an extra boost from jump jets and jetpacks. Joe did mention that the hoverboard uses power, and this shot shows it'll take one unit per second to keep flying. I'm pretty excited to get my hands on the hoverboard, and I cannot wait to see what kind of hoverboard parks and tracks people build for this. There were a few other leaks along the way, though we didn't get any details on most of them. Joe did mention, however, that he received confirmation that the probe scanner can locate a vintage probe that you have previously activated. This will really help players who have older saves where they have already completed the Wanderer side story but need to complete the newer missions that involve the vintage probes. Some new blips appeared on the compass as well, appearing as a dark green marker with a new symbol in them. While Joe didn't mention exactly what these are, we can deduce a bit about them from when he was flying about. In this frame, you can see the green marker closest to the center of the compass matches up pretty nicely with the location of that dark gray box on the ground. But what is that dark gray box? I have no idea. We did see another one of these boxes closer up earlier in the stream, and we know that there are several of them based upon how they appeared and disappeared on the compass. We could see one in the background at the start of the stream as well, and later got a closer look at some of the lights on top of it. We were also introduced to this. It's a vehicle, clearly, and Joe even said he wasn't going to ride it. From the looks of it, he has thrusters, and Joe's astroneer was clearly tethered to it. Joe gave us a nice walk around, but never hovered his cursor over it or said much about it. But from that walk around, we can see a seat, two tier two slots, and three tier one slots. Oh, and there's some sort of meter or gauge on the rear. A lot of people are speculating in the Astroneer Discord that this might be some sort of VTOL vehicle, but we'll just have to wait and see. We also got a couple of shots of this new thing. It has a spinning dish on top, and it looks as though it has a door similar to the chemistry lab and some sort of meter on the side. Again, Joe didn't give any details on this, so your guess is as good as mine. I did notice it was surrounded by a lot of debris, however. So when is all of this coming to Astroneer? While Joe didn't give an exact release date, he did mention they are currently in the bug fix phase of the update, so we're looking at sometime soon. He did mention that we will most likely see the update by the end of June. So we're within a few weeks to see all of this stuff in the game. So what do you think of what we saw from System Air today? I'm kind of excited for the hoverboard, and I'm really looking forward to finding out what those dark gray crates and the new scanner looking thing is. But what are you most looking forward to? And what do you think all of these things could be? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Before we wrap it up, if you're watching this video, then that means you're into Astroneer. And that means you should check out Astroneer Academy, my series of videos that cover all things Astroneer, from the very basics of survival and base building, all the way through advanced topics and even fun and creative things. If you're looking for information on anything in Astroneer, I guarantee you will be able to find it in one of the Astroneer Academy videos. And that wraps it up for this update leak video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit the like button and get subscribed and notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my weekly Astroneer content. And while you're at it, head on over to twitch.tv forward slash Vainglorious Gaming where I stream Astroneer at least once every week. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay Vainglorious.